to drink energy drinks. Um, emergency room visits due to energy drinks have doubled over the last four years from 10,000 in 2007 to 20,000 in 2011, according to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. 42% of the reported cases involve a combination of energy drinks with alcohol. The daily abuse of this legal pick-me-up energy drink can lead today's adolescents down the path of addiction. Many college students are chasing illegal energy juice to complete their day and not, take, not taking the crash from the energy drinks as a sign that they are no good. Our bodies the next day definitely can feel uh, the stuff from the energy drinks. Or even after a couple hours of chugging them, you feel tired and drained. An average college student consumes up to three to four energy drinks a week. There are many dangerous facts when drinking energy drinks. AB News stated that the Food and Drug Administration is investigating possible links between energy drinks and sudden deaths. Why do we drink them if we know they are bad? What happened to a good old breakfast in the morning or a large glass of orange juice? Uh, the American Heart Association presented that there is a connection that energy drinks were found to raise blood pressure and change heart rhythm in a way that was associated with life-threatening rhythms. This is crazy how we know what we are doing, but still do not stop, even after we hear and see the damages caused from energy drinks. Misstated, overstated, cover-up, or just a plain lie advertising surrounding energy drinks is questionable at best. The news radio, ABC News Radio stated the FDA regulates the amount of caffeine in soft drinks because they are classified as food. Because energy drinks aren't considered dietary, are not considered, sorry, Caffeine is in soft drinks because they are classified as food. Because energy drinks are considered dietary supplements, caffeine levels are not regulated. We consume caffeine on a regular basis, but too much can be fatal and lead to serious health risks. Sydney Lumpkin says the switch of the labels comes after a wrongful death lawsuit filed last fall against Monster Energy, which plagued the company and the rest of the energy drink industry. It promoted the release of FDA reports that attributed five possible deaths to Monster Energy and another 13 possible deaths to five outer energies. Energy drinks have a long-term effect to your body without you even realizing it. Adolescent consumers have no idea what these ingredients really do. They just want energy to get them through their day. Many consumers of energy drinks are young adults, 18 to 25, trying to find a quick legal pick-me-up to help them deal with the hurry rush of the world's today modern society. There are many people unaware of the potential hidden addictions in these little cans of joys. How much caffeine is too much? <coughs> there are two things that are universal in all energy drinks, caffeine and the tearing. Tearing, originally produced from the testicles of bulls, thought to provide strength and stamina, has not been shown to provide any additional boost. A 6.5 ounce of cup of coffee contains 80 to 120 milligrams of caffeine, and a 12 ounce cola cannot have more than 50 or 65 milligrams. Energy drinks have significantly higher amounts, with most known brands containing anywhere from 154 milligrams in 16 ounce Red Bull cans, ranging from 100 to 2,000 milligrams in some. This does not stop anyone from buying energy drinks. Um, so, energy drinks are harmful to the body and mind. Now that some of the truths of concerning energy drinks have been brought to life, I hope you will consider the original energy drink of orange juice or even waking up early in the morning and having a good breakfast.